Hello, welcome to another post from Dr. Blake's Healing Soul. Today, our athletic trainer, Aphrodite, will explain to a patient how to do a short arc quad exercise. Right, so for um, basic quad strengthening, you can do what's called short arc quad exercise. Um, we already discussed in a previous video how to do quad sets and straight leg raises. So this is another exercise you can also incorporate in your home exercise program. So if you take a foam roller or something that's similar to it, um, you don't want something too soft because you want about 30 degrees of knee flexion in the starting position. Um, so you have the patient flex their foot, and what you want to do is, from this position, go into knee extension. You want to make sure that they go up far enough so that you see that vastus medialis muscle working. If you want to isolate a little bit more that muscle, have the patient turn their foot out slightly and do the same thing. So the most important part is getting that last bit of extension for the quad strengthening. Um, I try to tell my patients to avoid what's called long arc quads, so the leg extension machine that we use here, because especially with when they have corner malaysia, any type of patellar tracking issue, you don't want to go into too much knee flexion because it's just going to aggravate the knee more, so that's why we go that last 30 degrees of extension. So I usually have them start out with two sets of five. If they can, do one set of ten without stopping, that's great. And then um, as they get stronger, they can actually put weight, so I like to use ankle weights here. So I just strap it around my ankle. And where can you purchase those, Aphrodite? These you can get at any type of sports store, like Sports Basement, um, Sports Authority, should have them. So start really light, about one pound, and then progress as you get stronger. So if this patient can do three sets of 10 um, with one pound pretty easily, then they can progress to two pounds. Um, <clears throat> but once you progress in weight, you want to make sure that you don't go as many repetitions initially. So we go back down to two sets of five or one set of ten, and then um, progress as tolerated to where they can do three sets of ten at two pounds, and just progress that way. And what would be the guidelines on when they should stop uh, the exercise? So if they feel like it's painful in the knee, or if they get fatigued really quickly, then that's when they stop. Um, and then make sure that when you're done with the exercise, you're icing down, doing all those things to um, calm down the area post-exercise. Great. Well, thank you very much, Aphrodite. You're welcome.